the market is again in red and we will have everywhere this crypto market collapsing people hey good morning it's not really collapsing it went a little up it has it has to correct itself and come a little down so it's okay it's not really collapsing however i have some good and bad news today let's let's start with fundamentals today not like the technicals all the time on fundamental side in two days basically august the 23rd i'll be looking for the pro shares bitcoin etf application decision by the SEC not like the previous SEC update this time SEC cannot really postpone the decision making so on the August 23rd ProShares ETF decision should either be approved or declined so if you see a decline we may see bearish news or bearish move in the market on Bitcoin side and you know what happens to Bitcoin has a direct impact on every other altcoin out there now this is not the only ETF application out there as I told you yesterday there are as much as nine applications pending SEC's approval that being said on September the 7th we have the Bitwise ETF application this time the SEC can, can postpone the decision making for another period direction uh, or direction uh, ETF application must be confirmed or declined on 21st of September and CBOE 1X or SOLIDEX ETF application can also be declined or approved or postponed on September the 30th so these are important dates for you to go ahead and, and check the market overall now that being said let's move on to the technical side we will also talk more about the coins that you asked me to look into uh, yesterday and the, the weekend overall so on Bitcoin my view has still not been changed yet I'm standing my ground I see the current price standing at uh, 6470 level uh, current resistance is at uh, 6000 okay sorry I, I, I kind of a little uh, mix it up uh, the price is 6370 resistance at 6470 and my targets still remain at 6965 7210 and 7500 meanwhile my support line holded its ground today earlier 6270 was my support line as we talked about it yesterday and 5975 is the main support line meanwhile icoin sentiment market sentiment currently for bitcoin is as sell bearish um, ether current price is uh, at 280 my ground still has not changed for it my resistance uh, and the first target is at 315 M an additional bullish targets remain at 365 and uh, 420 support meanwhile for ether is 251 and I point sentiment current ether sentiment is a strong sell that also means that the market for ether is oversold the way it, that's how you basically should be perceiving it now because of you guys asking me yesterday to cover uh, Litecoin here is my Litecoin analysis on technical perspective Litecoin stands at $54.6 dollar currently and resistance I see uh, according to True Fibonacci Waves analysis 59.5 and the following targets for me will remain in case of bullish entry 80 and 98.5 my support is at 52.5 and I have a pending buy order at 43.75 my stop loss is at 39 and my target for that case is uh, $60 overall and iCoin sentiment currently is at sell level for Litecoin now Bcash guys Bcash 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 you told me to look into it and yesterday I, I mentioned that there is a possibility Bcash going for an ETF application so if there is a Bcash ETF application my overall view will be Bcash going further down so the current price is at 525.5 the first resistance and the main resistance that I, I can see is 595 the following resistances at 750 and 
the main support that I can see currently immediately for 75. However, here is the uh, here is the bad news for big big cash people. 305 is a possibility. So I'm very sorry, but I'm not really sorry. This is what market tells us. As an analyst, I'm not here to to share what I want to see the market doing. However, what market is telling me that's coming up. So iPoint sentiment meanwhile stands at strong sell for Bcash and uh, that's also oversold uh, indication. ETC, Ethereum Classic, those of you uh, who have who has been asking me, well, there are some good developments coming for ETC uh, and the current price is at 12.35, resistance I can see is at 14.3 and I have my buy order uh, at 10.5. So. The current price may still go down for another 10 to 15 percent. So only buy if you are looking for buy order at 10.5 or, or lower. Now these are pretty much it from my technical analysis perspective. If you want me, go ahead and analyze any other coin or token. Go ahead and type it on my YouTube channel on, uh, or on our Facebook page, and I'll be looking for it. Uh, that's so far it on my end. One more time, the ETF application that is pending a decision on the 23rd of August will have an impact on the market direction. And uh, there are eight more application decision makings coming up in the upcoming 60 days, pretty much. And this is going to be the the market mover in a way, you can call it market shaker if it is a uh, rejection. So guys, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, press that subscribe button, press that like button and write your comment and I'll look, you, I'll look for seeing you tomorrow in another YouTube video. One more time, Yelgu Brahimov from A2ZMarkets.com and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Ciao.